Welcome everyone to our first homemakers. So today we're going to be working on uh, oven baked clay jewelry. Um, it's kind of a faux quartz style. And we're going to be using acrylic paint and gold leaf to decorate our clay. So I'm going to go over everything that is in your box. Right. So be very careful. I have a craft blade wrapped up for you. So mine has handles, yours doesn't. Uh, mine's also messy and yours won't be because <laughs> I was just making some stuff with it. Um, so you'll have your blade. Just be very, very, very careful with that because it is sharp. You'll have a ball of oven baked clay. You should have some gloves because this is going to get a little bit messy. Some gold leaf, a clay roller, a couple of cutters, some super glue. This is Liquid Sculpey, so if you're looking for it at the store, uh, it's kind of like a glue that holds the clay together while we're working. And then you have a bunch of jewelry findings. You should have a couple of chains and these bales to stick on your clay, a ring, and a pin. One more thing I forgot. Um, if you told me your favorite color, then you will also have um, some acrylic paint. So the first thing we're going to do is take our clay and split it in half. So some of it we're going to decorate with the paint and gold leaf and some of it we're just going to leave white. And this type of clay is the original oven bake uh, sculpey clay. So they make these in different, um, they make different types of oven bake clay and some of them are harder to work with than others. But this one is pretty soft, so you shouldn't have any trouble squishing it around. Okay. And I'm going to get some paper here. Just because I don't want to get uh, paint all over my table. So I'm going to roll this out. Just making sure it's nice and soft. Okay. Um, oh, you should also have a roller in your, your kit. I was using it, so I didn't have it in the box. And now you're going to break up your clay. And you don't need it to be, you don't need to have pieces that are the same size. You actually want them a little bit different. Okay, now I'm going to get my gloves on because this is going to be kind of messy. Let's get this paper and spread out all my pieces. And then I need just a little bit of paint. So I just start with a couple of drops of paint and I can add more later. Um, if you add too much, it starts to get a little too messy. See, so then you want to roll the clay around in your paint. And you want to make sure that the paint covers the outside of all the little pieces. And if it doesn't, you can just add more, a little bit more, until it covers everything. All right, and now I need my liquid Sculpey. And so this is 
Um, they call it liquid polymer clay, and I'll show you the bottle in just a second. But it just it's kind of like a glue that holds everything together. Whoop, don't need that. And now we're going to get some of our gold leaf. My goodness, it's really sticky. And roll this around. And again, try to get the gold on all the pieces if you can. Once you've got the gold leaf in there, um, you may need a little bit more of the liquid Sculpey um, because we do want this to all stick together. Oops. All right, so now we're going to put all of our pieces together sticking on my fingers and we're just going to squish it up into a ball okay and now I want to be able to slice this So I'm squishing it into kind of a little, like a loaf of bread shape so that I can slice it. Okay, now taking off my gloves. So you have this little uh, brick that we're going to set aside for now and get rid of this mess. And then we're going to get the rest of our clay and soften it. So this is going to be used for the back of our pendant. So you can see on this example, the back is white. Uh, because even though we use the liquid clay to hold this together, um, it still can fall apart when we're doing our cutting and everything. So this white clay is just going to be the backing. So we're going to roll it out. And it doesn't need to be thick. It just needs to be thick enough to serve as the back of the pendant. So this is rolled out pretty thin. And doesn't have to be any specific shape either. Okay, so we've got our white. And now we're going to do our slicing. So this tool is really sharp. So just be very careful. Um, and yours will look a little different. Yours doesn't have the handles. Um, but you'll just make about a quarter inch uh, thick slices. So you can see the inside kind of looks like a the inside of a, a rock. So you'll take all these slices and just start arranging them right next to each other on here. And you don't have to use this all at the same time. So if you need to set it aside and work on it later, you can do that. Oh, this is not gonna 
dry just sitting out in the air. It doesn't uh, harden until you put it in the oven. I'm just going to fill up this whole this whole thing. Maybe not the whole thing, but until I run out of this. So I've got my clay all arranged here, and I'm going to use my roller, just wiping it off, to stick all this together. So now when this is all um, filled in, once you roll it out, it shouldn't have any spaces in between. Kind of see what that looks like. And then you will take your cutter and start cutting out shapes. If you have a plastic wrap at home, you can um, put that in between the cutter and the clay. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to get your pieces removed. So here's one. Let's see if I've got any other shapes here. Actually, so there's a really really small one. And I have a whole bag of cutters, so I think you just have two in your kit, but I'm just going to finish this off. See, this is one where it would be better to use with the plastic wrap because it would be easier to get it out. But hopefully, here we go. And like I said, if you don't want to make a whole bunch of pieces at the same time, you don't have to. You can set this aside and work on it um, at a different time. thing about this is you can still use it so even though I've got all of my pieces cut out you can still uh, I'm gonna get rid of the extra white here you can still ball this up
and then roll it out. It'll look a little more uh, marble, so you won't have as much of the veining, but it still looks really pretty. And if you want, you can start the whole process over by breaking these pieces up and adding more paint and liquid clay like we did at the beginning. Um, if you want to add more color, um, but this is more of a, a subtle pattern, but still pretty and still usable. Alright, so now you just need to decide what you're going to do with your pieces. Um, however, you can bake all of this before um, adding any of the findings on. So again, it is 275 degrees and 15 minutes for every quarter inch of thickness, and this is about a quarter inch. So then once that is all done and out of the oven, you can add your findings. So for this I just made a couple of necklaces, but you can do pins, you could do a ring. It's up to you. So I hope you had fun with this one today, and if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. And we will be back in December, and in December we will be doing watercolor prints. Have a good evening.